I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like. A uh, big shout out to uh, Kalanji, my comrade Kalanji, and uh, for the 42nd commemoration of Black August event he put together last night. I was happy to co-host. Uh, shout out to, to Dr. Crystal Strong and Sonny Patterson and, and Magu Balagoon and uh, Mama Ayana Mashama uh, for coming through uh, and... and um, you know, doing, uh, you know, commemorating Black August correctly. Uh, so if you didn't get a chance to see it live yesterday, please go to the channel and check it out. Uh, it was it was fantastic, very informative. Brother Kaba, you know, uh, I've known many of us have known for a long time and had the, the pleasure of seeing it. But but we haven't really brought much of his uh, performance performance to to BPM. Uh, so to hear him sing again. Uh, you know, and just sort of sitting there, you know what I mean? You, you know, no, no, like, I don't know, no fanfare, no ceremony, just sitting there and just, just, just blew the doors off the, the, the internet. <laughs> and his rendition of Donny Hathaway's One Day We'll All Be Free uh, is, is crazy, is crazy good. So, so anyway, shout out to him as well and everybody else who came through uh, last night. Uh, so the other day, you know, on the Remix Morning Show, uh, we 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 accurately predicted this. I want to play a little bit of this. Uh, and again, these are not necessarily, um, you know, show and platform endorsements. Uh, but but uh, you know, as I uh, cobble together a media environment and news environment. Uh, one of the outlets that that I do check in every once in a while is is uh, the Katie Halper show. And she what, what she and her crew did the other day sort of uh, confirms, you know, not that we needed them to do it, but but shows, you know, where um, that we were correct here at BPM. Uh, uh, on the remix morning show where we said. Yes, Biden is claiming to end the U.S. engagement in Afghanistan. And there's all these discussions. By the way, we're endeavoring to have a whole discussion about that with folks who cover Afghanistan, who are from Afghanistan, who, who, who you know, uh, um, we're endeavoring to do that. And we're also endeavoring to have, so we're looking to have a roundtable on that. And then we're also looking to have a roundtable uh, um you know, because I know it's been been uh, hot again for a, for a while now, but but we haven't really, really, really gotten into it. Uh, and we're endeavoring to put something together on critical race theory as well. Uh, and please, if you haven't, go check out my classic radio interview from back in the day with Derek Bell. Uh, um, shortly before he passed, he came on my radio show. Uh, it's at I mix what I like dot org. It is crazy good and one of the first things he says is is um first of all i was it was great because i got i i got to, it's always good to get to him to hear him explain to 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 confirm uh one of my favorite quotes from him and then also uh um uh to hear him give his thoughts on his former student barack obama <laughs> Hate, 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 hate. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's check this out because this this was just just a little bit of this um, because it's it's interesting just to see. His speech was very you know, strange. Talking it about was, Biden's speech. It was speech. very like low key. I mean, I I, I I I have to admit that I I am 
pleasantly surprised with how much, although it is hilarious, they have still subsequently deployed like almost 10,000 troops or something like that. Right. Like, so it's like, in some ways, I'm like, I like that he's pushing back. Our mission in Afghanistan was never supposed to be nation building. It was never supposed to be creating a unified, centralized democracy. Our only vital national interest in Afghanistan remains today what it has always been, preventing a terrorist attack on America's homeland. Mm. I've argued for many years that our mission should be narrowly focused on counterterrorism, not counterinsurgency or nation building. That's why I opposed the surge when it was proposed in 2009 when I was vice president. Awkward. And that's why as president, <laughs> we focus on the threats we face today in 2021, not yesterday's <laughs> threats. Today, the terrorist threat has metastasized well beyond Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. El Shabaab in Somalia. Mm -hmm. So it's got oh. I mean, it is funny he's laying out like, here's I where know. we are going to have. <laughs> I know exactly. Where do we be next? Next. Everybody yeah. in the, uh, you know, everybody in the military industrial complex, don't worry too much. We are going to be spending a lot of money on stupid wars for no reason. Don't worry too right. much, everybody. We're just diversifying our por yes. portfolio. Yeah, we're moving around a little bit. Yeah. So, guys, this is the game plan in case you want to know where we're going yeah. next. Here we go. Yeah. Ready? Don't Today, worry. The terrorist threat has metastasized well beyond Afghanistan. El Shabaab in Somalia. Somalia. Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Arabian, Arabian Peninsula. Syria. Syria. Syria, of I course. You create a caliphate in Syria and Iraq. A caliphate. <laughs> establishing affiliates in multiple countries in Africa and Asia. Africa and Asia. We knew yeah. that, China. These threats yeah. warrant our attention and our resources. He's teleprompting hard. We conduct hard. effective counterterrorism missions against terrorist groups in multiple countries. When? Where we don't have permanent <laughs> Where and presence. when? We don't have permanent. Okay, well, you know. We'll hey, listen, the way I feel about all this is I actually anyway. So so I, that was that was really that was that was it. I just thought it was funny to to, to see that little clip. Uh, and uh, and that's there. I, I have to agree, at least with the, with with that basic uh, um, point and that we were again right here at the remix morning show that uh, that three hundred million dollars reported spent every day for 20 years. Three hundred million dollars a day for twenty years on Afghanistan was going to have to get spent somewhere, and uh, so they got Somalia, uh, uh, the Arabian Peninsula, Saudi Arabia. We've already talked here about there were stories that that um, uh, military industrial complex funding was being sort of repurposed to from large scale war to smaller tactical more mobile uh, uh even and sea based units to handle um containing china uh and um the 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 ongoing squabbles over uh taiwan and 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 and, and, and anyway uh so that and then of course iran is not going to be ignored or forgotten about so what you know probably not some direct engagement but some sort of re uh, you know purposing of some kind uh so anyway thought that was that was uh interesting so um and then we shouldn't forget because, uh, uh, and I'm forgetting who asked me about this, but uh, I did promise that I was going to be sharing my uh, uh, my at least one syllabus for my my um, uh, the sociology of mass media course. Uh, I guess hyphen or or colon uh, propaganda, psychological warfare, counterinsurgency. But but. Um, uh, we shouldn't also forget that a lot of funding, military and otherwise, is going towards uh, maintenance domestically of not only, um, well, indirectly uh, a police force, but a, a, a digital media surveillance environment uh, that um, is obviously highly interwoven with military and state appar you know, apparatuses. Uh, and uh um so anyway so that's that's we shouldn't forget that because there is still the counterinsurgency need here uh 
uh, against uh, the movements represented by, in this case, uh, sort of this morning or engaged, if not represented by, engaged in by people like David Gilbert, who the Katie Halpers of the world and others don't even talk about him. They'll talk Chelsea Manning, Julian Assange, all of whom should be freed and left alone, all that good stuff. But they'll never talk about even David Gilbert, uh, not the least of which his comrades, Mumia and Sundiata uh, um, uh, and Jaleel, who's thankfully relatively free or freer, I should say, than he was at least, uh, uh, and those who passed on. Uh, anyway, so. I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like. What I like, what I like, what I like, what I like. 